everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video we begin with the Dres base which somebody thankfully reminded me of otherwise I probably would have accidentally gone on to do the Duna mission returns without thinking about the Dres base at all because well I tend to forget about Dres completely but as it so happens we're only five days away so we almost missed it as it is but it is about to arrive. We should be able to get into orbit. The problem is I don't think we have enough Delta V to land, but we'll see. So let's get to it. Our Dres base was unnecessarily looking like uh, some sort of Star Trek vessel with nacelles and completely useless adjustable ramp intakes at the back just for looks. Uh, the first, I think it's the first case where I've used completely unnecessary parts in order to get a look out of a vessel. Uh, it looks like we need to reorient for electric charge. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty good pass already so we don't need to do any correction or anything. We don't need to land any particular place. Uh, we do need to have... oh that's a different thing, that's Ike. Um, we... what do we need? Well we have all the things we need here so we just need to land it but I don't know if we can land it. We'll see. All right, we need a whole 1,771 meters per second just to make orbit. We have 38% uh, comm signal. Hopefully we'll have comm signal when we're at periapsis. Um, that's the side facing Earth, uh, sorry, Kerbin, so that should be all right. This is our first entry into Dres space. And I didn't pack any science, did I? <laughs> well, it wasn't part of the requirements. I should have put some on the little thing that added a docking port. Yep. We've got a whole lot of mobile processing lab, but no science parts. Sometimes I underdo it. But okay, we've got a burn time of a lot, actually. That's a, that's a long burn time. And I hope that's not true, <laughs> uh, but we might have to start retroburning quite early, if that is. That can't be right, right? I mean, that's more than half an hour. Well, it says start burning minus two minutes. Maybe I should believe it. Okay, turning to the node. But we're 19 minutes away from periapsis. So, this isn't even efficient at all. Not a good sign for what we have left afterwards. Do we even there's Drez. They're very, very quiet right now. Well, it doesn't look like it was lying about the burn time. It is taking a while. Okay, well, we are past apoapsis, I'm oh, sorry, periapsis, and we still haven't captured yet. This is awkward. Well, I'll just be looking for a bear capture considering how far we've departed from the thing. If we can capture it all, we probably should have started earlier. Okay, that's probably okay for now. Uh, 329 is not going to be enough to land safely. I'll just leave this be and we're going to send some refueler for it and take advantage of the one little docking port that it has thanks to that claw. And well, good thing they required us to send that. Well, we would have just sent a claw refueler anyway. But okay, well this turned out to be heavier than too heavy for its own good, that's what I wanted to say. Too heavy for its own good, thanks to spare parts that we didn't really need. But anyway, it looks good. We'll try and get it down there. Let's just make sure it doesn't run out of power. Okay, so on to bring back the Duna missions. Huh, this is actually a very interesting time. Uh, so I, I just got back to the tracking station after that and this is about the right time to launch a Drez refueler. Okay, this might not be the best idea, but we are going to see what happens. So this is the refueler. We've got locked tanks up here, and it's not reading the right delta V there. 
But if we take this off, uh, oh, and we need to be in vacuum. Uh, that is 3,205 meters per second without the locked fuel. And we are just using a cheetah to keep the mass light. That means that our thrust weight ratio is low, but uh, hopefully it'll be enough. We've got a reaction wheel, we've got the docking port there, and we've got RCS thrusters for docking. So that is that, but now I've decided that I want a new recoverable launcher that is capable of launching something 48, this is 48 tons into orbit. And so we have this. Now, uh, Mikko had wanted me to use the, whatchamacallit, the twin bores. I didn't agree with the use case uh, that he proposed, which was for the launch vehicle for the space plane that we sent out to Duna. But in this case, I think they're the best option. Uh, it's, it's close, but they're probably uh, cost effective here. And we are trying to make this a single body reusable vehicle, so there's no decoupler or anything. It's all supposed to come back down together. And we have the bobcats in the center for better efficiency for the like circularization burn or something, or retro burn afterwards. So we'll shut down the twin bores. I don't have action groups right now. Well, I don't have most of the action groups right now. I've decided to use the abort action group in order to toggle the parachutes. But uh, yeah, otherwise I'd probably action group the shutdown of the twin bores. But yeah, we've got little landing legs that will, who knows what they'll do. I put some, uh, I put these place anywhere linear RCS ports in the service bay. We have RCS tanks and a reaction wheel and the probe core. And that is how it's put together. So we will see if this works. We'll just launch it and hope for the best. All right. Yep. At least there are no Kerbals involved. Oh, speaking of no Kerbals involved, I forgot something, didn't I? We need an antenna. That was almost a big mistake. Um, let's just get these Communitrons. Bit wobbly, but it uh, balanced itself out. So SAS on, throttle is up. And just taking a look. All right, well, here goes nothing. Oh, let's not do that first. <laughs> now, here goes nothing. Launch. It's got a pretty healthy thrust to weight ratio. Gotta be careful, though. It's a tall, wobbly. Oh, it's really wobbly. I auto strutted. I definitely auto strutted, but it might need more auto strutting. Maybe we should throttle down through max Q and everything. It's wobbling on the on the cheetah and the it's only a 1.25 meter decoupler there, so that's why. I'm gonna actually temporarily shut down the engines so that I can shut down two of the twin bores and proceed like that. So we get a slightly more efficient fuel mix. Not that the Bobcats are that much more efficient, but hopefully we'll have enough for return of the booster. I think I'm gonna try and shut down the twin bores and just use the Bobcat now. Bobcats, two Bobcats. So we've got 48 parachutes there. I hope that's enough. We'll find out. Maybe I should use... I avoided using the engine plate because of the fuel reading issues, but maybe I should use the engine plate with the with the Cheetah engine instead of having a tiny decoupler underneath it. I don't have a name for this launcher yet, so... Octobore? There are eight bores, I guess. Oh, we lost communication. Oh, no. No. How long till we get communication? Well, now the launcher is not coming back. Well, there's a chance actually with the RCS, but that's weird. We probably don't even want to go out this way, do we? Not really.
There's a satellite right there. If only I'd taken the antenna out. Oh, maybe uh, the periapsis is going down. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll deorbit it. Doesn't look like it, though. Well, it's run out. It hasn't jeopardized our main mission, but... It's not wonderful. Okay, we've got comms. Let me extend these dishes finally. Okay, well... Let's separate and see if this thing has a chance. We could transfer some fuel in, but I, I don't want that. Um, is there a chance that the RCS would be enough to push its periapsis down? I don't know. It's really low and we only have these ports. So they're not the ideal ports either. But let's find out. Otherwise, we're going to have to send up a claw to give it some fuel to deorbit. I don't know. Hmm, maybe I should just send... Get, oh, I want to send as much fuel to Dres as I can, so... We're not going to take any chances with the main mission now. Uh, so it'll just hang out for now. We'll focus on this and at Apoapsis we're going to try and bring its orbit down. What we need is to have this thruster puff in that direction to slow us down. So, we've puffed in that direction. Now, when we get over to this side, we'll use this thruster and press J. And it'll be pointing in the right direction because that's prograde. So, J will now bring our periapsis down. I don't know. It's not looking great. The closer we do it to the real vector and... The more swings we do, the more accurate it will be, I guess. I mean, even if we hit 70 kilometers, it's not going to be able to deorbit very quickly, is it? It's amazing we've still had comms this whole time. Just happened to go out right when we needed it, but oh, it's fine now. I don't think we're going to have enough RCS. Well, it was a valiant attempt, but this is now derelict awaiting some sort of rescue attempt. So, we did not quite get to test this out. It got the payload to orbit and it would have had enough juice, but it did not have enough juice. I mean, it didn't have enough juice given that we lost communication. So, anyway, back to the Dres Refueler. And this... Well, its apoapsis is not in the most convenient place at all. It's pretty much no help. <laughs> Actually, we should have done the burn already. Can we get at that? Oh, that ascending node would be nice. Then we don't have to do a mid-course adjustment. Let's... But we're overshooting, so it's probably going to be going way fast and tough to... slow down with that. Well, let's just see whether it is even worth pursuing or not. Um, 1,600. So how much do we deliver? Let's see. If I unlock this tank, we can get 5,000. Well, let's say we lock that tank. It should be enough for landing. Maybe we'll try it. But we have to replot because we passed this node and it's very sensitive so we have to do it at the right time. Okay and ideally we would want to match inclination with the Dres base. Well there's an encounter but well 2,000 meters per second if we unlock that tank as I might plan to that might be a matching burn there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, maybe. But that's that's an encounter. It's awkward, but it'll work. Anyway, let's do this burn first and see if we can get this on its way. 
lit by a fraction of a second. We'll probably have to do a mid-course adjustment and a pretty hefty one too. No, don't wander away. Uh, okay, fine. 0 0.1 meter per second. What can we do? Um, so we are on escape. Wait. Um, let's try zapoapsis. Oh, no, we're, we're coming in like that. What? I guess that's the communication line. So let me just RCS. Nope, that's worse. Right, well, make course adjustment it is. I don't think Drez helps that much by way of like Oberth effect or anything. So maybe if we just meet out here, it'd be okay. Let's see. But the timing might be off. Okay, well, there's a sort of thing going on there. Let's just take that. So it takes 2,000 to capture like that, and then we'll have to do 34 more. Let's call that uh, 2040 altogether, plus this 2046. And if we unlock this top tank... Oh, we used some of the oxidizer for some reason. Okay, well... Yeah, we're all imbalanced somehow. Okay, I guess I didn't lock things properly. These, This is locked, so we could deliver close to 720 units of liquid fuel. All right, so we will do this. We'll see if this can refuel the Drez base enough for the Drez base to land on Drez. But that'll be in a while. The, there's a node in 34 days, and then we have to actually meet up with Drez. Before that, we need to bring our Duna missions. Well, we need to get our Duna missions on the way back. Then we're going to have to do that one maneuver node, and then they're going to be back. And then it'll arrive at Drez. I think that's the order of operations. So... It's, uh, Kerbin has to be behind us 75 degrees, so we're not doing this right now. Yeah. Kerbin has to be over here. Uh, we've got where Duna is behind Kerbin. That's the wrong way around. So, not yet. We might be following the Drez mission. Gosh darn it. I wanted to get these back, but that might be, that might be the situation. Let's see, tracking station. It might be that Kerbin gets to the right location before this gets to Drez. It's bound to be more sensitive than I, I can actually manage here. Okay, well, 0, 0.0, let's see what it has there. Okay, well, let's see, RCS it a little bit. Okay, we've got uh, that sort of situation. And we will capture there. Is this the best idea? I don't know, but I would like an uh, encounter. Well, you know what? We'll figure it out when we get there. Okay, well, let's get a little bit closer. This does not have the long burn time of the other engine, well, the spark engines. We have barely any connection, 8% though. And we'll just unlock all the fuels and see what we can deliver in the end. We've got plenty of Delta V if we use all the fuel, but we don't want to use all the fuel. There's Drez. Oh, the start burn timer we've already passed. Whoops. Okay, but maybe we can see what's going on now. Well, there's an encounter there. We've still got a lot of inclination we haven't... Well, we're too far away to adjust the inclination right now. Um, let's get out here and do some adjustments. Alright, so we'll need... Whatever that is, 72-ish uh, meters per second. Now it's calm, still at 8%. Drez, I, I mean, Drez is horrible. Drez is always horrible. Not as bad as Moho, but still pretty darn horrible. Okay, let's see how close we're getting. We've lost comms. Oh no. Well, it's not an electric charge thing. It's a distance thing? Now? I thought we were at 8% and now we lose comms? It's not Drez blocking us. It's the sun! Kerbin's on the opposite side of the sun. The sun is blocking us. For heaven's sakes. Yeah, nothing would be able to communicate. Oh, great. 
How long is the sun gonna block us for? Well, enough. <laughs> well, there goes that opportunity. Okay, now we've got comms. And we might as well bring the orbit down on that side. Burn. Ooh, woo. Come on, don't make this hard on us. Ah, it's lying. The game hates me. Oh, now it's showing it. Well, it's now showing something. Okay. Let's figure this out. Claw is sort of tilted in a weird way. But magnetism should be okay, even with these small docking ports. Yep. All right, so now let's see what we can top off. We have to keep everything balanced on the lander, though. Oh, we need crossfeed. Oh, the claw and crossfeed again. Oh, no. Is it going to be... I think the, this little claw just doesn't allow crossfeed. I'm going to have... I have to just... What's the point of the claw? What's the point of the claw, I ask you? So I've got to turn that off and see. Maybe we have to use the big claw or something. Okay, well now we can do it. So, yeah. I'll have to turn off the resource transfer a base crossfeed rules thing. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's do the thing. Let's undock and handle the contract to land this base on Drez. At least we'll get something done today. We've got all the things, we just need to land it on Drez. We've got 1500 meters per second here. Well, wherever we pick up comms again, we'll start burning there, even if it's set, there we go, that'll be fine. Retrograde, and we should be controlling from this hex unit now. Are these throttled down somehow? Oh yes, the thrust limited. Oh, okay. Oh shoot, let's not do that one at a time. <laughs> okay, wow, I need to remember these things when I thrust limit them. I should just not have... Whenever I leave a vessel, I should just unthrust limit them. That would be safer. I sat through that long burn for nothing. <laughs> it didn't really hurt our efficiency that much. We wouldn't have been able to land with the remaining fuel anyway. Okay, we'll do that and then we'll land over there where the line of sight is good, the power will be good. Okay, here we go, our first dress base that's sort of like... sort of like a Star Trek pod with the nacelles, but not really, really. Will this be a good location for a base? Who knows? But we can get it back into orbit and relocate it if necessary with the Delta V that we have right now, I think. Maybe. At least it can make a hop. This does look like pretty good terrain right here. Still have it on SAS Retro Hold. We'll probably change that soon. I think I was optimistic about how much fuel we actually had for hopping. There's a thing there. Definitely something, but we don't have any way of investigating it right now. I wonder if those sorts of objects are persistent or whether they regenerate. Will it still be there? Will that rock be exactly in that same location the next time we visit or not? Okay, we are down on the ground. There's a thing, yeah, I don't know what that is. I can't see from here. But is it satisfied? Maintain stability for 10 seconds, it says. Okay, we did the new surface outpost on Drez mission. So we got that done. Uh, I was wanting to do my Duna returns this time, but it looks like this is what we ended up doing. So I'll save the Duna returns for next time. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.